Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and for today's video, I'm back with another tutorial, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to mine with lower end graphics cards, but for AMD, Nvidia, and even your CPU. And with this program, it also takes away the need for like uh, what to mine website. So if you're looking for like profitable algorithms using what to mine and like websites like that this you will no longer need those websites this program automatically does all the algorithm profits and it pulls up any new algorithms old algorithms current ones everything and it even recognizes two gigabyte graphics cards now i've only tested with the gtx 760 for a lower end but it seemed to work fine it picked it all up but i'll be showing you guys all that in today's video now just for demonstration purposes i will be using my 1650 4 gigabyte graphics card right there but like i said i've tested it with the 2 gigabyte it works and everything i just don't have room to set it up right now um, i do have my main computer that i use for editing and such but i really don't want to use that and put the 2 gig card in there and use that for mining like just for like you know five minutes or something so i'm just going to be running through it with my four gigabyte one there now i'm just going to go over to my computer my like editing one that i do all like my main videos on and I'm just going to run through the GitHub on how to get the software and the different versions of the software because there are different ones just depending on the pool you want to use. So we'll go through all that right now and I'll jump over to the computer. So the program we're going to be using is called N Plus Miner and it's a GPU and CPU miner and it also does all the algorithm calculating for you like I was mentioning at the beginning of the video. But before we get into like how to download this, there's one important thing that you have to know. You may notice if you're looking at this page here like on my video here you see it's n plus minor but then it has the z pool edition on it now there is just a basic n plus minor software that was developed by this guy here um but he also made certain ones like for certain pools so you can use the original one without like a z pool edition or zerg pool edition but you'll just have to uh, configure it to whatever pool you're using so it's an open uh, mining software like most mining programs it's just he made certain additions for each pool just to make it easier so you don't have to config uh, too much so just quickly here I'll just show you uh, the Z pool and Zerg pool website so you can get a quick glimpse at the algorithms that it will like select from so if you go over to Z pool here and click on the algos page it'll bring you to this page here and these are all the algorithms that are currently mineable on Z pool the green ones are just high profit right now, so if you notice that, those ones are just the high profit ones. And then if you go over to Zerg Pool, you'll see it on the right hand side here on the home page, all the different algorithms that it can mine. So you may be wondering, oh I don't know if my graphics card can mine all any of these, you know, things like that. But with the uh, N Plus Miner software, it will go through and run through these algorithms and pick the best one for your graphics card. So on Zerg Pool. It will run through all these different ones and all the different mining software and try to match it with your graphics card to give you the most profit. And same goes for the Z pool. So each pool kind of has different algorithms. Some like some pools are the same, but Zerg and Z both have different algorithms. That's why there's two different editions. So just go through and figure out which one you want to use. Maybe there's a certain coin on Zerg pool that's not on Z pool or vice versa. So you just want to stick to whichever one that like that has a coin that you're mining and maybe like for example since zerg pool seems to have a lot more selection for algorithms you try that one because it gives you a wider range but z pool it all just like depends on your connection and what pool you like and what coin that you're going after really so for the purpose of this tutorial i'm just using the z pool edition because that's the main pool that i tend to use so once you come onto the GitHub for whichever one, so if you just go on Google and type in M plus minor Z pool edition or Zerg pool edition, it will pull up the GitHub. And once you're here, you just want to go to the releases tab as normal. So you just click on releases and it'll bring up these few different ones. You just want to go to the most latest one. It will note it right there as the latest one. And then you just want to download the zip file. I already have this on my mining rig, so we're going to jump over to that and I'm going to show you all the configuration and things like that but you just click on it and it will start downloading and then you do what you normally do in my videos here you just click settings and then you go update and security and then you just want to go to windows security and once you are there you click virus and threat protection and once you're there you go down to manage settings 
and then scroll down a bit more and add or remove exclusions. So this is once you download the N plus mining software and extract it, you just want to add it as an exclusion. So you click add an exclusion, add folder, and then you select the N plus miner folder and that will make it bypass any like virus or firewall or anything like that because it's just an unverified publisher. So, so Microsoft and like Windows uh, marks it as like a virus and things like that. All right, so now I'm over at my mining rig here with the N plus miner software. As you see here, I have the Z pool edition one. So once you do have it downloaded, at least this is for Windows, I don't really use Linux and like Ubuntu and things like that or Mac OS. So if you're following this tutorial, it's mainly gonna be focused on Windows here. So once you download it and add it to your exclusions, you're gonna open up and see a lot of these files. You might not have the admin one right away, but what you want to do is when you first download it and like get ready to run it, you want to run the N plus minor one. And then once that runs, it's going to ask you to, it's going to like pop up with a window and it's going to ask you like yes or no. You just want to click yes on it and that's going to install like, I think it's like Microsoft Visual Basics and like a few other like plugins that is needed to run the actual mining software. But then once that's done, you're going to notice another new file in here and it's going to be the N plus Oh, sorry, try to focus it. NPM as admin, and that's going to be the new main one that you are going to run when you are using it from like after the main setup. So once we go through the setup, there you just want to run the admin one, and as you see, it pops up with the PowerShell. It's probably going to install like a few things for that as well. But you'll see this screen. You're like, oh, what's going on? It's like I said, it's just going through the PowerShell and commands. But this is the software itself here. We'll just let it load up. So once it's all loaded up, this is what it's gonna look like. You might have something just like a bit different in the box here, like installing, downloading, all the prerequisites. So just all the stuff to start with. But once you're done that, you just wanna go over to the config tab. And now you're gonna be like, holy crap, what's all these, what's all these options, what's all this? This is just an easy way to do the configuration. What this is, is pretty much just a configuration file that you would manually do in a mining software, but it's just laid out in like a program format. So it's a little easier for you. So as you see, there's a few different options to go through. I'm sorry if there's shakiness here. So the top one worker name, that might be filled in with like N plus minor or something, just something as a default. You can change that to whatever you want. The MPH username, Mr. Plus, I just keep that as what it is, that's the default one. Interval, so the interval is the time it, I believe it calculates, so it updates the algorithm. So if you're mining with the software, and say you're mining on like ET, ET hash or something like that, and then all of a sudden like 30 minutes later something more profitable hits, it will automatically switch to that, and it will check every like 30 minutes. You can set it to whatever amount, so this is in seconds. So every 300 seconds, I think it's in seconds or minutes, whatever. So every 300 seconds or 300 minutes, it will go through and check all the algorithms for profitability and things like that. Location, pretty self-explanatory, whatever location that you're mining to. So on the website, usually gives you like um, North America, Europe, different locations. You just put in whatever one there. And it says your GPU count, obviously that's just whatever how many gpus you have this is just my single 1650 rig so it's just one and then you can click the detect gpu button there and then that will obviously detect it if it's not noticed now you're gonna notice on your algorithm box here it'll probably be blanked out or it might be something default just make sure you have it removed mine is on neoscript there because i've determined that that's the most profitable so I've just been mining that for a week at a time. And then currencies, whatever the currency you want it displayed in. So for me, since I'm in Canada, I put CAD, so Canadian currency. And then your payout currency. So for since this is the Z pool edition, you just put whatever coin symbol that you want to mine. So for example, for me, it's uh, LTC, so Litecoin. And then that's going to be pretty much all your settings that you're going to have to focus on there. The last thing you will see is minor types at the bottom there. So where it's checked off CPU, NVIDIA, AMD. I have a NVIDIA card and that's the only thing I want to use. So I just check NVIDIA. All these options might be checked off for you off the start. Just select whichever ones you want to use. If you have multiple cards or if you have you want to do CPU as well, this will do it all. And then the rest of the settings on the right side here 
I don't really mess with. It's all just kind of your personal preference, like all these boxes here. But this list here is going to be whichever pool you're mining to, and it's going to give you the stats for uh, that pool. So by default, if you're using like the Z pool edition, you'll probably have Z pool plus checked. It may or may not work for you, all depending if the API is properly working. But if you're having trouble like displaying the coin stats and such, I'll show you that in a second here. Just uncheck the Z Pool Plus one or Zerg Pool Plus, whichever one you're using, and then just check the default one. So Z Pool or Zerg Pool, Unminable. There's a few different pools you can use with the software that will help like determine algorithms and profitability. And then once you ran through all your settings and made sure they're all set and you're all good, you just wanna come down to the bottom right and click on the Save Config and it will just automatically save. It doesn't have to restart the program or anything like that. You can literally do changes on the fly as it's mining and just hit save config. And then once it does the interval update, it will just apply the new settings then and there. Now, once you're done all that, you just wanna to go to the run tab and you're gonna see just everything's just gonna be blanked out to start here. But what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna leave mine as default. And then you just wanna make sure too, like I said, to start your wallet address at the top here. Uh, just right here is whatever coin you're mining. So since I'm doing uh, Litecoin, I put my Litecoin wallet address at the top there. You just copy and paste it in and then you're set to go. And then you just click on start and then you're just gonna give it a minute and it might just take a minute to start up as you see up top here. It's just gonna run through the ports, gonna say idling. And I removed my algorithm that I had set just so for the video here, you can see that it runs through different algorithms. I've already done it a few times, so it might just jump automatically. But as you see, loading miners is going to load up the different mining software that's going to try, and all the stats will appear on in the gray boxes here. And then up top here, you're going to have some inf information as well. And as you see, it starts downloading and installing miners. You might be like, oh, what's that? Like, why is it doing that? Like I said, it runs through all the algorithms and things like that for a set pool or whatever addition you do have. So as you see, it's all loaded up here. And like I said, it literally just runs through and tries to give you your best algorithm. It's not saying that like every single one's gonna work because like obviously like the algorithm SHOD 256T is probably not too profitable for my four gigabyte graphics card, but still good that it runs it because it's gonna run through all the algorithms for that pool and try to give you the best result. And it will also give you like different mining software. So CC miner, CC miner, it's all matched up. And then if we just scroll up here in this little box, oh, let's reposition. As you see, it was installing some different miners like downloading MB, downloading T-Rex. And right there, wait 60 seconds, next refresh. It gives you the time and date and everything. And we'll see it start to cycle, see? This is what it does to run through. Sometimes you'll notice it stays on the same algorithm for like a couple tries. Sometimes it tries like two or three times. But as we see there, it's just doing crypto dredge now for the mining software and argon2ddyn as the algorithm. So it just tries whatever it can. But at the top here, it'll give you the price of the coin that's currently at last time it updated. And then over time, once it finds the proper algorithm and stuff, it gives you your average amount. And then right here at the top left, it tells you in the last hour, six hours, 24 hours, how much Litecoin and such you're gonna earn. And then right here too, whatever pool you're mining to, it gives you your balance, tells you the pool, your trust, everything. It gives you all the information and does all the algorithm and benchmarking for you. And then as it's doing its benchmarking, you can go over here at the top and click benchmarks and it's going to list all the ones it has ran through and done and show you the profitability and how much giga hash is going in the network per day and your speeds and the miner all your information and the type even so if you're doing cpu in nvidia you'll have cpu ones going and your graphics card one going so everything will just be you know all there for you you don't have to sit here and go on to minor stat anymore and websites like that you can leave this running for like an hour or two and let it run through and find profitable algorithms like i said it it works for lower end graphics cards it worked for my two gigabyte gtx 760 card and they even found profitable algorithms for that one and just one last thing there is a way to see like if it's reading your 
actual model of graphics card. I forget how it like where it displays it. But if you come across it, let me know in the comments so I can see it again. I think it used to be like displayed up here and it said like GTX, whatever, like model, like your card is or whatever for AMD or CPU. Well, hopefully this didn't go on too long for you guys. Like I said, I just wanted to show you guys this program because it's like an all in one program. So you don't have to worry about going to different websites, seeing different profitabilities. This program will run through it all itself and keep you up to date. Like I said, every 60 seconds, you can change the interval time so it's a longer period of time. But hopefully, you know, you could see it through my little bit of shakiness through recording through a camera here. I just, like I said, didn't want to do it on my editing computer and just run a two gigabyte graphics card just for that purpose. But yeah, if you have any questions at all, feel free to post them in the comments and either me or someone in the community will probably help you and respond. But hopefully this helps you with your lower end graphics card, even higher end ones. This just saves the pain for everybody, even if you are trying to like squeeze as much profit as you can, or if you're just trying to find profitable algorithms so you can switch to the miner itself and run it by yourself. There's a few different like variables for the software. It comes in fairly handy. But that's all I got for you guys today. If you did enjoy, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as it helps me out. But I hope you all have an amazing day and this is Krebsy Crypto signing out.